Hello and welcome today. We're checking out Dreamscaper. This is a game I played uh, a few months ago, back when it was in its, I think it's Kickstarter days, or early, early days. And it's just now uh, hit Steam and early access, and I thought we should check it out again. The idea here is this is an action RPG, and the, I guess the story behind this is, is we sort of live out our normal daily lives in this little town. We are, uh, well, we're her, and uh, we kind of go out about our, our daily business to the cafe to eat to the park whatever and meet people learn about people and sort of uh, interact with folks and then we go to sleep uh, and then whenever we sleep things happen action rpg starts happening so we have a dream journal we can learn about we can make things throughout the day and and give it to people that we think need certain things the people we meet we give them gifts and stuff like that uh we can pick up new weapons at night it's sort of like a there's like two parts of the game basically uh and and we'll we'll see all this when we get into it uh so we could leave if it wasn't 9 p.m at night we could go out and go to the cafe or the bookstore or the lounge you know or the park uh but now it's night time so it's time to go to sleep and do sleepy things which ain't so sleepy here this is by the way been developed by afterburner studios and published by freedom games and maple whisper or something all right so here we are in our dreamland our lucid dreamland i guess we have apparently some boxing gloves and as you can see, it's like a, like your old-timey roguelite where we've got ways to go. We'll, let's go to the question mark and see what it gives us. Uh, welcome to the Burger House in, in Dreamland. So let's open up the box. And we get uh, some coffee. I'll take it. Okay. Increases my attack speed. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let's go... I guess we're going to go back because that's the only, way, only place we can go here. But we can dodge around, you know, and do all kinds of things. We have a, a ability here, a Q ability, which gives me some sort of fancy thing. Um, and from what I understand, the things that we do in the day influences what happens here at night in our dream world. Right now we're punching some slimes. And we're going to beat them up. I, I think there was something to do with, like, like depression and all kinds of social things also along along the way here well, is, is the idea. Uh, we can break some things if we want. We do have a bomb we can put down and break this stuff and, and maybe get something special out of it. Or we can just punch it. Picked up Solace. Plus one. Sure. Oop, punch that. I, I can't punch straight. Uh, health potion. Yeah, I'll take it. My health is full though, so I will not take it. There's a boss up the top there, so let's go check out the other room over here before we go to the boss. And make our way over this way. And you can see this is like our old childhood home or something. There's there's some ghosty people around here that, you know, fade away. Something po poetic like that. Uh, more slimes. Let's go bounce around. We can't get... Uh, ooh, I'm terrible. Um, you see I kind of flash there once in a while. If I punch, like I time my punch right, I get some sort of a big, a big, uh, a big punch if I time it right. More of that. We'll take the health potions. I did, I did get hit that time. Uh, and then we've got uh, another big combat up n north there, and those are things here. I can't punch those. Uh, I can put a bomb on them, though. Here we go. I'll take those. Thank you. And we'll go to this next... Oop, go to this question mark over here and see what's going on over this way. Ah, puzzle time. All right, all right. So, yeah, the game has clearly... There's, like, there's two parts of the game. Um... Interesting, interesting idea. This one. Let's go and do that. And I guess you're going to have to go... Oh, yeah, you're going to have to go like that, I reckon. And you'll go that way, and you'll go... Well, I don't know, that way? Like that. That's not going to work. Oh, yeah, it will. Over there, and then you're going to go around this way. Oops. And over here. Here we go. And we, we got something. What do we get? We got uh, a front flip. 100%. Okay, I'll take it. It re release, uh, replaces my 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 roll. I'll take it. Sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a market down here if we had some cash. I don't really have any money, though, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to we get a fight over this way. Let's go do that. We do these fights, and then we can um, ideally level up so we can take out the boss. And, and, well, hopefully things will happen. We'll get some new gear, new items, uh, and I mean, you aren't, aren't going to die, are you? We can do a basic attack like that, or we can do a big attack like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got a key, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, we can go this way. Oh, key opens the door, eh? 
All right, let's go up here. We found, oh, we get a choice. We have a flamethrower we can pick up. We have, that's a uh, projectile. We have a hand crank generator. Success successfully parries temporarily boosts your global damage. Or a primal scream. Hmm. I gotta go with flamethrower. Okay, yeah, yeah, I want that. Okay, give me that. Um, there we go, like that. And I'll just remember this wing set. Let's cover a swing set, which is going to give us some stories. It's probably easy to get stuck in a child's swing. Is it? I said my sister would just spin us around as fast as we could go. In a hard way, much of the amusement of the rest of the town came to watch. Man, the town's a bunch of jerks. Okay, let's go back and uh, let's go take out that boss. There's a combat up to the north here we can take out, but... I suppose we should, probably should do that. We can check out the store just to show it off here. No, oh, I should, I should blow it up. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have enough for any of this. Oh, I do, I do actually. Can't get that one, but I can get this one. What are you? Mini fridge increases the chances of freezing effects. Or we have a health potion or a key. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I like the idea of this one. Let's buy it. Cost 300 sand. I got plenty. I'll take it. Okay, let's get out of here. Apparently there's something... Uh, oh yeah, there's that, which I already picked it up. Okay, so let's go and... Uh, we'll do this combat to the north, and then, we'll, and then we'll, uh, we'll go do the boss. I want to make sure we get through this and show off the daytime stuff also here. Because certainly there's a lot more going on here than just... Just just old, uh, old fashioned old ARPG. Ouch. Well, there's also a lot of my, my poor playing as well is also happening. Oh, I should use a flamethrower. We'll use that on the boss. Uh, let me uh, look, avoid these, and then we'll pick up some health. And we'll go break this guy. Here we go. Okay. Uh, what do you got for me? You got a plasma ball. Add shock to all your attacks. Well, yeah, I'll take that. Certainly. Something maybe in these bricks here that we can find. Or not. Uh, I could put a bomb there. I only got one bomb, though. And I think I want to save it for the boss. So let's go up this way. Into Mystery Land. At the Burger House again. Pot of Plant increases my health. Uh, Comet Collection increases your ability damage. And Buckler 2. Add more armor and health recovery. Well, clearly we want that one. Replace my Buckler 1. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Let's go find a boss. Our, um, our nighttime boss. Whatever he may be. Probably die. But we'll see where this goes. I'm more intrigued by the... I mean, I play RPGs all the time. I'm more intrigued by the daytime part of the game than than, uh, than this bit. But let's go... Oh, yeah, health. Uh, we'll... I mean, what's it going to do for me? Wait, it restores 20%. I'm at, like, a sliver here. Um, sure. I'm not going to go back here anyway, so let's go take out a boss. Hello, boss. A bomb for me? No. Just wandering through the water. Spooky boss man has arrived. Alright, I'll take this guy out. So we get close to these things and they sort of, they, they, well, they blow up. There you go, like that. And we come in here, we can do our ultimate. Which is a little bit. You just sort of punch him a bunch. You can see his health down, down there at the bottom. I fought this guy a few times. I played this on a live stream. Uh, my, uh, my internet connection was, was garbage, so the video is not good, but, uh, whew. so we're playing it, I'm playing it again here, showing off the game, but let's go and hit that guy, I'm curious about this, like, jump, no, it didn't work, you can get a second attack that goes in that, the E spots, but I didn't get one, whew. avoid that one, avoid that one, Let's go see if I can get a, uh, what are you going to do to me? Oh, don't do it again. I wasn't ready that time. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy. I'm going to try putting a bomb by him. Oh, I blew myself up there. That's not what I want. <laughs> what would he be doing? Okay, run away from the bomb. But oh, it, didn't, it didn't do it. That was terrible. Okay, avoid this guy. Avoid his tornadoes of doom. What's that over there? 
Um, yeah, come here. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we got him looking good. Looking good. What's this all glowy stuff over here? Oh! Ouch! Why don't feel so good? Woo! Okay, where are you going, buddy? You gonna go right there? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, whoops. No, don't bomb. No, wrong button. Well, I guess I didn't do bomb. Okay, it just, I pushed the wrong way. You gonna do this thing? Yeah, I can avoid these just fine. You gonna do it again? Yeah, you are. I haven't got a new dive before. It's kind of fancy. I wonder how well the flamethrower works on him. He's way over here. No, not well at all. I can't even get it out. All right, tornado time. Don't go to that. Oh no, it's gonna die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurts. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it off. Did that work? I think I'm actually. What is that guy? What is that? Oh, that's your tail. Oh, I think I just blew myself up. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I got a sliver of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I'm dead. And there I go. Okay. Well, now it's wake-up time. What a terrible dream. Okay. Now we get to daytime bits. So we got 90% or something done. Progress. Let's wake up. Six o'clock in the evening. I guess we slept all day. Uh, we can check out our journal again, which I think I showed off. Yeah, I showed off a bit of. Um, I haven't really unlocked anything just yet. I can craft some things though, if I knew what I uh, what I wanted to craft. I guess I can s craft these. But let's go. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some fox shaped cookies. Sure, sure. Why not? And a, a sleek earplug case. Yeah, maybe we can learn who wants that. And bounce over here to our loadout. We can change these things around. Uh, I'm using, I think the broadswords would have got. Um, which is fine. I can roll this stuff and switch them out as I want. Um, but it's okay for right now. And I also have, because I know somebody in town, I guess I get some sort of bonus thing. And some notes. We met Eve a while back. I tried resetting, there was resetting the game, but it didn't reset. So it kept me with my status from last time. But let's go to the... Uh, Let's go to the park, shall we? All right, welcome to the park. Um, hey, Carl. Let's chit-chat with Carl for 30 minutes. Cassie asks Car uh, Carl asks Cassidy what her personal best on the bench press is. Cassie says zero pounds. Oh, oh. We don't know who Carl is, so we don't know what to give him. Um, we can give him a gift, but I don't know what he wants. I don't think I want to give him a gift unless we can check our dream journal, I guess, and see what he wants. Um, can I see it right now? I can't. I think I have to go back home to look at my dream journal. So, let's go. Oh, no, I can't. I can look at here. Um, do we know who Carl is? Carl. He's a freelance writer in his late 20s. Creative guy who loves world building. Likes working out also. You like world building, do you? Do I have anything? Wait. I have things. Um, let me go see. Let me go talk to him again. Likes world building. Okay. A painting of a how about a painting of a serene landscape? You like that, eh? Carl's now an acquaintance. Hey, you happen to have a minute? Depends. My name's Carl. I work for our local paper, Red Haven Paper, Red Haven Today. Do you mind if I ask you a few quick questions? Uh. Look, I'll be real with you. People have been blowing me off all day. Just need a comment on the new park policies. Before you answer yes, I'm as excited about this assignment as you are. Okay. But, I don't have much to offer. I really don't know Red Haven well. No worries. The Parks Department is making permits mandatory for a gathering above four people. Huh? 
That's ridiculous. Perfect. Whom should I be quoting? Uh, my name's Cassidy. I'm not sure you should print. All right, thanks, Cass. All set. Okay, we now we now know about Carl's creativity. We've learned a new ability called a blowback, which we can use in our dream world. Uh, I guess we can chat with him again, but I think we're gonna go somewhere else and uh, head out. Let's go to the bookstore. Takes 15 minutes to get there. Somebody's here. Hey, Allison. Let's chit chat. Stranger pulls out a comic book, and together they marvel over the illustrations. Okay, so she's we don't know anything about her, but we can give her. Um, she's in a library. Surely she loves a sleek ear. She doesn't have any ear. Is that the thing to give her? I don't know. Um, have a earplug case. What do you think? She's now an acquaintance. Apparently she liked it. Hey, you're the cool girl. Cool shirt girl. Huh? Last time you were here, you were wearing a shirt with from my favorite comic. Was the Songstress shirt. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited that you know this comic. Literally nobody I know cares when I talk about it. I'm always down to talk about comics, especially Songstress. I'm Cassidy, by the way. I'm Allison. Hey, we met Allison's Wonder One. We learned Shadow Step now. We're talking to Allison. We can. I'm gonna try talking to her again. Oh, okay. I won't talk to her again. Never mind. I don't think anything I can do here. Nope. Oh. Let's just head on out. Nope, oh, nope. Let's leave. Now we got we got some time left, so let's go to. Uh, we just came to the park. Let's go to the the, the cafe. Hey, guy. Hey, Bruce. Let's chit chat. Pulls out a book and encourages Cassidy to read it herself. Okay. Wow, well, would you like some cookies? Who doesn't want cookies? Okay. And then, then the botanist had it out with the biologist. Then and there, it says Bruce. And he university foyer. Such a such palaver. Never seen the like of it. Well, that's untrue. In 84, there was that incident with the anthropology professor and the sociology students. Did they sell tickets for that one, too? Sadly not. Or I'd have bought one. A clandestine affair. Under the cover of murky cafeteria twilight. What are we talking about? You make the side of the academia sound like a blood sport, sir. I didn't realize people could get so aggressive about animals and plants. I thought that was uh, reserved for conversations about ethics and marketing. Ah, I told you. Call me Bruce, Cassidy. There's no need for formalities. And your characterization is not inaccurate. Interdisciplinary communication, that's what was needed. But you tell the old guard that, and no. I can see your mouth opening, my girl. I'm not the old guard. And oh, the outrage, the indignity. How dare a mere historian tell others their business? Don't you know, Bruce, that each independent field holds the answers to all the world's problems? And that's comparing findings and asking questions rather than making assumptions. Why, that just wastes time. Even my fellow departmental colleagues, Cassidy. Even them. Really? I think historians would like... Want to talk to people about their, you know... Histories. Interests. You would. You would think that. But, but, but. Cassidy. Cassidy. Why are we standing? You would have to be wrong. What are we talking about? What is happening? Ritual purposes. Bloody ritual purposes. Us and the anthropologists both. Ah. I think I've talked your ear off. You certainly have. It was great to meet you, Bruce. Nice hat. I, uh, 
Certainly never sat down to think about it. You aren't sitting down. Importance of trash before now. It was very interesting. Genuinely. I'm always glad to meet a fellow garbage aficionado. That's me! You're welcome to come and chat anytime you like. Okay, I'm glad you like the cookies. Are you calling my cookies trash? Bruce's Wisdom 1. We learned a breaker sword. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we'll put that to good use, I think. Uh, thanks, Bruce. I appreciate that. 15 minutes ago, or 30 minutes ago, we can go to the uh, the lounge, I suppose. We haven't been there, right? That's the one we didn't go to yet. Let's stop by there. I need to go home and go to sleep. We've, uh, we've got a few books we can talk to here. We've got Tamal, um, Fernando, and and Eve, which I've chat chatted with Eve before. I don't have any more time to spare, however, so I can't really do much here. So we're going to head home and back to bed, essentially. Now, chatting with people, it's not only pointless. Uh, there, well, I mean, it's more. <laughs> there's reasons for it. Um, I, I learn these things. So Bruce's wisdom, which I can learn at some point. Um, we can see what it does for me. And there's Allison's wonder. Bruce is your lucid attacks as Cassie gets to know Allison. So as I get to know them, it gives me bonuses to certain things. Um, and we can switch it out. I guess, we'll switch, is it this way? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're using ease perception right now. But we can switch it out with, with whoever we want here. There's Bruce's wisdom for critical damage. Uh, we don't know who this guy is. There's Carl's creativity, which gives us lightning damage bonus. Um, Eve's range damage. Allison is just ability damage. Let's, uh, let's... Bruce's wisdom. He's a weird guy. We want that one. So that's going to be the one, our influence we're going to be using here for our fight. We don't know anything as far as this goes. This is all stuff I think that we learn later on. And we slowly learn about these people. You can see that Alice, we know, likes comics and live music. So luckily, we got her some fancy earbud covers. Uh, and then uh, we can set up our loadout this way also. So, uh, anyway, um, let's go to sleep, shall we? And back into the dream world to do it all over again. And we go through the boss again, and ideally we would beat the boss, but, uh, well, you know. So there's a fight up to the north. I do have a different sword. It's sort of randomized. I think you can choose it, but I, I don't know how to do that. Uh, looks like I have two swords. Look at me. Um, I do have a ranged weapon. I can shoot. I have five arrows, which I'm going to waste one right now. Like that. You see them down there. Do not use lucid attacks. Okay. Let's jump in here. Oh, oh. Face him. Don't use loose. Loose attack is the thing up in the top. Which I'm not sure what I get if I don't use it, but I will, uh, I'll try not to. Which is Q out. My, my Q button. There we go. I completed the challenge. I get a, a bonus. What do we get? We get a metal detector. More bombs are dropped by enemies and destructibles. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, speaking of, let's drop one. And give me some arrows. Thank you very much. Lots of arrows. And a health potion, which we don't need. Okay, um, we could go to the boss again, which I think is the same guy as we fought last time, so we won't be doing that just yet. We'll continue on and look at all this stuff. And in fact, it's probably a good place to call it a day here. So this is Dreamscaper. Strange one. Um, different for sure. I was curious how this was going to play out once I played the uh, the demo a while back, like a prologue or something I played a long time ago. Uh, health potion if we need it. Let's go break this guy. Damaged here. I'll pick up the health potion and we'll go move. Oh, another guy. Well, oh, oh, I'm terrible. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, question mark room. What's going on? Ah, one of these. I think this is a perfect place to call it a day. So, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.